You know, it all starts at the top, running a successful business, and it is no different when it comes to our local sports teams. Our Mike Rogers joins us now, and Mike, Titans head coach Jeff Fisher is not the only coach in this town who's the face of a franchise, is he? No, not at all. Hope you can add the Predators' Barry Trotz to that list as well. Just like Jeff Fisher, he's also one of the longest tenured head coaches in professional sports. I spoke to Coach Trotz this past week about his career in Nashville and found out from his players what it takes to become a great boss. Here we go. We become a part of the fabric of Nashville, and I have no, you know, people, you know, when I go up to Canada, they're going, you know, you, you know, how, how are you accepted in Nashville? Are you drawing? And, and they're, when, I, when I tell them, I said, we're drawing great. We, you know, we can do all even better, but we're drawing great. The fans uh, in Nashville have, have taken to us. The, the community has taken to us, and we're part of Nashville. It might be a little slow for the forwards, though. Maybe, maybe we'll just do a, might do a little bit of a, a cycle. Over the last 13 years, this has been a typical day in the life of head coach Barry Trotz. So we'll go line against line. Winners rest. If they tie, they tie. Adjusting the lines at practice is probably the easy part of his job. The hard part is the responsibility that comes along with any managerial position. If you're wondering how to get the most out of every member of your team, you might want to start by asking the people you're in charge of for their thoughts. He's a, a player's coach, you know, he, he respects what we want, what, if, if we feel we would like to do something different, he respects that and he'll think about it and most time he'll uh, err on the side of, of us, but, you know, I, he's just, he's a good guy, a good person, that's uh, probably the biggest thing about him. You know, a lot of times you get coaches that are uh, pricks, so to say, and, uh, you, you know, you really don't want to win and uh, for them and uh, or it's not that case here we want to go out there and play hard every night you know if you're working hard he'll give you your opportunities and um, I think he's doing a great job still intact that looks ugly all right here we go on the whistle if your players don't don't respect your coach then um, you're not going to make it very far and one either the player or the coach has to go and um, I think that's why trotsky has been so good because we respect him and he respects us. Respect and being a good person is something that is often overlooked in the competitive world of coaching. These ingredients, though, have helped Trotz maintain his position despite a lack of success in the postseason. The strength of this organization under Barry Trotz has become what so many teams are lacking, a consistent plan. I think our message has been has been strong. Uh, we try to sell it in different ways every year, but the foundation message is always the same. About we have to be a team to be successful, and we are. And uh, our secret is that uh, you know we, we find those good people, our scouts do, and um, we try to make them fit into our culture. And you know, obviously, you got guys that have won uh, multiple Stanley Cups out there, and you know, President trophies and those sorts of things. But our, our model is consistency. And we want to be consistent every year. Year after year, the Preds have grown with the sports culture of a city that is often overwhelmed by the football team that plays down the street and over the bridge. But having two head coaches who remain the first and only their franchises have ever seen is quite remarkable. Their similarities and comparisons continue to grow together. It's funny, we have, they have the same problems we do. Uh, with, and when we talk about from a coaching staff about players and where they are in terms of their growth pattern, where they are as, as, as maybe players versus uh, the, the maturity side, you know, all those different things. Uh, but we have similar issues, which is when you sit down with the coaching staff is, is really enlightening, if you will. Now you figure after all of these years in the same town together, Barry Trotz and Jeff Fisher would be friends at this point. Well, you are right. These two are friends, Hope. Trotz told me that the two will occasionally text each other before and after big games, right. but for the most part, they try to leave each other alone during the season. However, Barry Trotz did attend a training camp where Jeff Fisher gave him a behind-the-scenes look mm -hmm. at how he prepares for an upcoming season. So they do bounce some uh, coaching ideas off of each other from time to time. I wonder if they console each other in losses and cheer each other in victories. Maybe uh, that's the way to go about it. Maybe Barry Trotz gave Jeff some advice on Vince Young. Who knows? Uh, very did. All right, still ahead right here on the